Another beautiful day up on the Grand Mesa. Great views, views for miles. As we continue through the overnight hours, though, uh, we limit that because we're going to add cloud coverage this evening. Uh, one storm system dropping to the south, which is beneficial because while the majority of the state has greater than 100% snowpack compared to this time last year. There's only two locations. It's the um, uh, the Rio Grande River Valley in the south and the Arkansas River Valley in the southeast. Those two regions aren't up to par, no pun intended, with the snowpack. And that's exactly where these systems are moving through over the weekend. And currently it's the southern half of the state that's picking up a little bit of snow. Uh, most of us, though, however, remain dry. I will be talking about an incoming system tomorrow, though I use that term loosely. Uh, it's not necessarily a storm system. But first, we started at 24 degrees at Grand Junction this morning. Tomorrow morning, we'll have cloud coverage, so we'll likely experience low 20s again, slightly above the average for this time of the year. Montrose, 16. We're supposed to be 17 this time of the year. So getting towards the end of January, our temperatures are slowly increasing. Uh, more important, though, are the afternoon high temperatures. Now, we fell shy, 34 degrees for Montrose. Believe it or not, we're supposed to be 40 this time of the year. So last week we were 38, 39. We jumped up to the low 40 degree category. Grand Junction typically 39 this time of the year. So pretty close to the averages we feel today how we should feel as we get towards the end of the month. Now current temperatures right now we're at the freezing mark for Grand Junction Delta below freezing at Montrose. Uh, there is a little bit of a wind, so there's a wind chill in effect that will uh, likely drop those temperatures on the cold side of things. And speaking of cold side of things, when you compare to today, Tomorrow, and you think about our averages, we're going to head into a colder stretch. Uh, Montrose, we're going to drop some degrees tomorrow afternoon. We'll keep cloud coverage. Uh, there's a reinforcement that's occurring just about every other day across our state. That's because there's a ridge of high pressure off the west coast that's steering all the moisture, steering any storms to the north and allowing them just to glide right down on the eastern periphery of that high pressure system. So it's really just wiggles of energy that are going to pass over the state, uh, encounter the mountains, create some lift, condense the moisture. And there's not a lot of moisture, but we'll create some light snow opportunities for the central mountains and the northern mountain zones in the coming days, uh, even into the southern zones. Wind speeds right now, five, barely 10 miles per hour. That's a wind chill probably dropping us down into the middle 20s. Top wind gusts of the day, bit of an anomaly around the rifle area because there were no storm associated wind gusts. And that came at us out of the north. The rest of us primarily 10 mile per hour clip. North wind in the coming days will reinforce uh, these colder temperatures and then you get on the backside of any of these uh, kicks of energy and that also will contribute to the cold temperatures. We're going to experience relatively dry conditions. Uh, clean sweep on radar right now, though if we had it in satellite mode, we'd start to see some thin high clouds infiltrating into the area. Uh, we did have a winter weather advisory into the San Juan Mountains that has since expired. Uh, there's really no hazardous weather across the state of Colorado. There are winter storm warnings, but that's down in New Mexico and that continues. Check this out. From New Mexico, south of Albuquerque, all the way through the panhandle of Texas. So we're talking Amarillo and then Oklahoma City and then Joplin, Missouri. Winter storm warnings all the way up into St. Louis because of what's happening down south. In fact, here's the culprit dropping down below Albuquerque, below Phoenix, swinging through some of the central and southern mountain zones of Albuquerque. If you know uh, Las Cruces, probably getting a little bit of rain. If you know Silver City, Cloudcroft, Ruidoso, Flagstaff, Prescott, Arizona. These areas are getting precip a little bit along the southern zones, and this is the Rio Grande Valley. This is the uh, Arkansas Valley. They could use more moisture. They're about 85 to 95 percent of the snowpack. They'll get a little bit more, but not a ton more. And as this system continues to exit all the way through St. Louis in the coming days, snow in Oklahoma City, here we go tomorrow morning with an incoming kick of energy. Again, high pressure system. You can actually see that ridge arcing across the area. A little bit of moisture and a little bit of energy riding on the eastern periphery of that coming over the state of Colorado throughout the midday, but primarily it's midday, late day and evening hours where we see some of this snow developing. Second system entirely and should put some light snow in the mountain zones. I do not think we'll get winter weather advisories. We're only talking about less than six inches and not a lot of wind, but central and northern zones should pick up, you know, another two to three inches of snow. So if you're going to chase storms, yeah, I think about some of those northern mountain zones. And again, late in the day, if you're traveling along the I-70 corridor to get back and forth to Denver for whatever reason, you're going to encounter some of that precip in the form of snow in the mountain zones. Lower elevations, we go dry, folks, and we're going to be looking at colder temperatures for the midweek period. 
like I said, every other day we have a little kick of energy coming in from the north, so that reinforces the cold temperatures, doesn't do a whole lot of uh, snow or rain for us in the lower valleys, puts a little bit in the mountain zones. We'll continue to deal with this every other day through the upcoming weekend, though we do get a bit of a warm up Saturday and Sunday, pretty close to the averages, and then that's right before the end of the month where we see yet another opportunity for a significant winter storm.